Okay, so uh, coming back to this problem of getting the data, uh, I tried something here. I, in addition to um, uh, loading uh, quant mode, quant mod, and uh, lubridate, I also tried this XTS. So I had to uh, install that and then load it like this. And uh, now it seems to work. Um, and uh, so I ran that code and I also made a folder like this and I, I'm working out of that folder so I set my working directory there so like we said here he's uh, creating a new variable called employment rate and uh, he's changing the heading of that uh, like this let me do this next part again so now we do this and that generates that and then we do this. So we're going to make a data frame. And let's just take a look and see what this looks like. So it looks like that, but there's no um, column heading here. So we're going to take the row names from, uh, from here, which these are the row names actually, I guess by the way this was created and uh, we're going to convert them to date and and create a date frame uh, sorry a date column so in other words we're going to use this and this function is a part of the lubridate which uh, package which will uh, convert it uh, from a, uh, a string to a date they call it a, remember we called it a deposit type or something like that we can go back and look it up but I'm not going to do that right now um, so let's try that, and then let's try head again. So now we have that. Okay, and this is actually a date type now because that's what this function does. And the next thing we're going to use is some is a what they call it. We're going to create a time series object. Now it's already a time series, but um, this is already a time series. We, the, these are not important, but this makes it a time series. These two columns, but if we make it a time series object, it means that the kind, a special kind of object in R, which just means that it has some extra functions that we can use on it in that case, some methods as they call them. So we are going to uh, take it as it is and make it um, a time series. So I guess we're taking the rate as the input because we're not. I guess we're not taking the whole. Uh, data frame. We're just taking the rate as the input, and then we have to say when it starts and when it ends. And it starts uh, at the minimum date uh, that we had in our data frame, and that is the uh, month. What's that? Sorry, that it extracts the year and the m month, and uh, so that's when it starts. And then it extracts the, using the max, the year and the month. Okay, and uh, frequency is twelve. Now we have to explore this TS function a little bit, but let's just run it anyway. Why not? Although we should we should explore it first, but uh, let's just do it. Okay, now if we type the this is now a so-called time series object. I wonder if you can use head on that. Yeah, you can. Although it doesn't exactly give us what we are expecting, but these are the actual um, values of the time series. So that was these numbers here actually. Okay, now let's explore this. Uh, TS function to see what this is about. In other words, what does this frequency do? And uh, how does this TS function work? So here it is, time series objects. Um, and we're going to make a time series object. But let me stop this video and then we'll look at this.